All right, guys, to wrap up today, we're going to do a story problem. However, I was looking at some of the story problems. I'm like, these are boring. We need a better story problem. So I made one up just for you guys that I thought you would really like. So I need a reader. Does anyone want to volunteer? Eleanor, read. Wait, what am I showing here? Frozen. <laughs> She's going to read this, and then we're going to draw a picture. So I need you to pay attention and think of how could I draw this out as a picture. Go ahead, Eleanor. Jack and Sally were out for a romantic walk for the weekend. The following began to shine. Jack started to turn into a werewolf. Jack knew that Sally would need to get up to 200 yards away from him before he could fully transform, or else she would be thrown into the woods. He tells Sally to run and goes to his best to the werewolf transform, and Jack and Sally run away from each other at an angle of 135 degrees. Sally came to run 75 yards, and Jack was able to get 25 yards before he full. Ooh, isn't this such a good story problem? All right, I think this could be a movie. Okay, let's uh, let's draw a picture. So, what am I drawing a picture of? A werewolf and a person. Well, it's not a werewolf yet. Half them transform a werewolf. Here, they're on a date. So, wait, let's. Man, it's not a good picture. Let's start. So here's Jack. And then here's Sally. And they're out for a romantic walk, so they're holding hands. Okay. Then, behind the moon, or behind the cloud, what happens? The moon arises. No. So Jack is going to run away, and he tells Sally, run away too. What angle does she run away at? 135 degree angle. Sally, come on. You know you need to run at 180, but okay, she runs at 135. It was dark, she was disoriented. Now, how far did Jack make it? Jack did it 25. Why didn't he make it very far? He didn't have time to get ready. And as we know from movies, that's a painful process, right? So yeah. he can't really move, but he's trying to get away, and Sally was able to make it 75 yards. Could have made it further, but she was wearing high heels and she didn't think to take them off. Come on, Sally. All right. Now, what is the question we want to know? What are we trying to find? Uh, the, the hypotenuse. <laughs> yeah, it's not hypotenuse if it's not a right triangle, but the it's longest one. It's not line. a hypotenuse. It's not the right triangle. Oh, it's a right triangle. Really? Yeah. All this time. So now we have this triangle here, and we're trying to find this distance here. If it's more than 100 yards, what does that mean? Then it's right. <laughs> what does it mean for Sally? Then she's good. She's safe. What if it's less than 100? Then she's not safe. Uh-oh. Can you guys figure this out without me helping you? She's being killed by Bella. <laughs> Bella. Bella dies in Twilight. <laughs> does she? Specifically to Edward, though. <laughs> All right, so what you guys are going to do is go through and set this up. See if you can come up with how to do it on your own. It's just like the problems that you did before, except now we just put a situation to it, okay? So I'll give you a minute or so, and then I'll come and try to join with you. Let's see if you can figure out the fate of poor Sally or fortunate Sally. We're about to find out. You have to get at least a hundred yards, <laughs> otherwise you'll die. <laughs> maybe we need to discuss this briefly. Yeah, but like, we know how it works. In what version did you read? She died to whatever his face is, the like really angry wolf. And then she died to Veronica. She also died to the other vampire. She died to herself in the second book like five separate times. <laughs> so you just, it's kind of like where we, what I was telling you on uh, sensory assignment, where you're just saying, oh, I'm just going to use a side, a, the two sides get put here, and then the angles are there. Okay. And 
so the, you can label it if you want as like A, B, and C, or you can just know that, oh, psi squared plus psi squared minus two times the psi is cosine of the other. Okay. It, it's a little, yeah. <laughs> so if that's too much, then label it A, B, and C and go from there, okay. or you can just plug it in. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to ask Oscar to tell me what he's doing right now. How did you set this up, Oscar? Okay. Or did you get this set up at all? Okay, he was almost there. Brian, what about you? Okay, tell me what you put. Okay, so I'm going to, that looks great. I'm going to put that into my calculator. Unless someone, do you already have what that square distance is? Uh, 8,901. 8, Hold on, let me catch up to you. You said 8,901? Okay, so what do I still need to do, guys? And what do you get when you square root that? 94. 94? Rip Sally. <laughs> so what happened? She died. No, not twist in the story. She she carried uh, something with her to protect her. A gun? Her. So Jack died? <laughs> or maybe she had a time turner, just like in yeah. Harry Potter 3. And she howled in the her. distance and distracted the wolf. There we go. Okay. All is well that ends well. All right, so this is how you would use the law of cosines. Oh, I feel like Any questions? You're, you're breaking the system. Sally's 